Hello everyone. Now we will understand how to implement batch execution. As we already understood, we need to create testng.xml. So here you can right click on your project. Go to new, create a file and I'm naming it as testng.xml. Click on finish. In this file, I'm gonna write script to run my test cases. So here name is, let's say here, I'm writing the name of my suite. So this is orange HRM. So this is to parallelly execute the test cases. Here guys, you will write name of your package dot name of your class. So my package name is, let's say test layer. And my class name is, you can check it from here. So test layer is my package. Class is login test. So this is my class login. Right now I have only one class. So I'm just removing the rest of the section. Let's just save it. So we're gonna refresh, control S and we will refresh it. So here we have refresh, right click on it, run as you will see test ng suite, click on this. It's executing your test cases. So to your test cases will get executed. So after the completion of execution, I can check for my report. Let's refresh this also. And now look at this, this is my suite, orange HRM. I'll open this and I will check my report. So open with web browser and see, this is my report. So this is my test case execution, all are passed and I can generate the report. So guys, this is called end-to-end -end execution. You can write test cases, you can execute test cases, you can do data-driven testing and at the end, you can take screenshots and at the end, you can generate reports too. So this is how you work on it.